Hey, it's John with Vision Advisors, and welcome to another Insight with Vision. I want to spend a little time in this episode challenging you to rethink selling. Now, why would I challenge you to do that? Because neuroscience, the study of the brain, has had some amazing inroads into understanding the psychology and the thinking process of the buying decision made by consumers. And over the last decade, we've seen just some amazing revelations in how the brain walks through a very specific process to learn to say yes or no to any buying decision, whether large or small, there are specific steps that the brain follows in the process of coming to a decision to buy or not to buy. And as a sales professional, that's probably important that each and every one of us understand this dynamic. So let's take a look at how we need to rethink selling. You know, I was watching television the other day and we have a new channel in our area called Me TV. It's memorable entertainment television. And while I was watching, lo and behold, Dragnet came on, a show that I grew up watching as a young boy. And those of you that maybe have watched Dragnet from the time it was originally showing or you've seen it on the reruns, one of the lead characters was the gentleman in the back. His name, Joe Friday. And anybody that's ever watched an episode of Dragnet always remembers Joe's favorite line, just the facts, ma'am, just the facts. Joe was a facts and figures kind of guy. And guess what? In the industry in which we live, facts and figures are important. The insurance and financial services industry as a whole is governed by state and federal regulations. They require that we cover the facts when we're presenting a solution to a client, whether it's life insurance, it's annuities, or if your security is licensed, a mutual fund or a variable product or a stock or whatever it is that you're presenting from a financial perspective, the facts and the figures are important. And we have to cover those things to make sure that we are giving the client information so that they can make an informed decision about saying yes or no. But what we've learned from neuroscience is the fact that facts and figures don't close the sale. You know, the study of neuroscience has really evolved as we've looked at the steps in the process that the brain goes through. And we've discovered that there's really two parts of the brain at work when it comes to the study of neuroscience. There is the conscious part of the brain where facts and figures and speech come from. But then there's the subconscious part of the brain, also called the reptilian brain, or you have the cortex, which is the conscious and the, the neocortex, if you want to get into a little more of a scientific definition. But what we know is that the emotions sit in the subconscious. Our memories, our life essence sits in the subconscious. Both parts of the brain are involved in the decision-making process, but there's an interesting step-by-step -step process that the brain goes through in making those decisions that we need to understand because many of you on this call are selling the wrong way. What do I mean by that? When it comes to selling, emotion comes first. The very first yes or no decision the brain makes when it comes to making a buying decision is based upon emotion. Whether I'm addressing a fear that I feel like the decision can alleviate, or I'm looking at a decision of solving a problem, whatever it is that creates a I want it, I need it, I've got to have it, or I feel comfortable about this, I feel peaceful. Those emotional decisions initially stimulate the buying decision. And consumers make that emotional decision first and foremost, and then the logical side of the brain brings the facts and the figures to validate that decision that was made. So if we think about the fact that every decision comes from an emotional choice, and then a logical choice, those two things have to happen in a specific sequence. The emotion has to come first because if you don't engage the emotions in the sales process, you miss it. And then the logic, the, the Mr. Spock side, if you want to use the Star Trek analogy, has to come in because the facts and the figures have to validate the emotional decision or the client oftentimes goes through buyer's remorse. So, what am I talking about? I'm talking about the difference between features 
and benefits. We in the financial services industry focus on features, the facts, the numbers, the stats, the definitions. But anytime I give a fact or a number or a stat or a definition, client can respond by saying, so what? Everybody else offers something similar. But benefits, on the other hand, explain how each of those facts, numbers, stats, and definitions actually benefit the client. It shows them how what you're presenting solves a problem it meets a need or it provides a solution. You know, at the end of the day, clients are asking for the with them, the what's in it for me. So when you're making a presentation to a client and you say, you know, this fixed indexed annuity has an income rider. Well, guess what? They can say, so what? What's an income rider? Then you can explain the fact that an income rider is a means by which at whatever point in time they decide to turn on income they can actually engage in a process that will give them a guaranteed lifetime stream of income that they'll never outlive. So what did I just do? I just gave you the benefit of an income rider. This product has a accumulation feature that in the event you die, it will provide an additional benefit payable in a lump sum at death. And the benefit to you and your family is this, when you die, that additional money can replenish RMDs that you've been pulling out of your IRA, or that additional money can be used to offset the taxes when your heirs receive this money. So what have I done? I've tied a feature to a benefit so that I'm creating that emotional connection with the client. But one of the most powerful ways to connect with a client and to create that emotional connection to tie facts and figures together is through storytelling. You know, from the time we were young children, sitting in our grandparents' lap, what's one of the first things that we learned is stories. Historically, going back thousands and thousands of years, culture after culture and country after country and people group after people group have passed on stories, memories of the past. And until we had the written word, verbal stories were how memories were passed from generation to generation. It's hardwired into who we are. And telling a compelling story that connects features and benefits and shares how this particular feature has benefited other clients that you've worked with in a specific way becomes a powerful and compelling way to connect with the client. So thinking about what's going on with neuroscience today and understanding how the mind works and how the brain makes buying decisions, don't forget to engage the emotion the facts, the figures, all of the things that we have to present are important, but if we're going to present them, let's present the facts and figures tied to a benefit. Give them the whiff them, what's in it for me. You can do that through stories, sharing stories of personal issues, sharing stories of client issues, and making those personal connections can be the difference between getting a yes or getting a no at the end of the sale. And at Vision, we teach selling. That's part of who we are and that's part of what we do. We actually have certified speakers, trainers, and coaches on staff that can help you learn to be a better speaker, to be a better sales professional, to be able to create and craft your message and to help you put together those stories, tying features and benefits together to make those all important presentations to your client so that you can not only communicate, but you can connect. And when you communicate and connect on an emotional level with facts and figures to support to follow, you've given the client what they need to make an informed decision. And at the same time, you've established that all important, know you, like you, trust you factor. To learn more about selling and what all we do at Vision Advisors, give us a call at 800-505-84. Eight nine. Thanks for joining us. Have a great day.